Hey everybody, welcome back to the video. I'm Purple Elf and Gaming here, and today we are playing some more Cookie One Kingdom. So first things first, we seem to always have a lot of these rewards, because I checked. Yeah, that's right, 10,000 gems, 20 treasure tickets. I, it's honestly, I don't know why I decided to do treasures last time, because I didn't know they were going to give us 20 free ones. And 10,000 diamonds. I, I honestly, 375 of level 5 XPs, like... They give you an insane amount of gifts here, I've no idea. It's a generous game, I have to admit that much. It's a very generous game. So we do have 20 treasure dollars to go for. I mean, I guess that's good and all. Uh, daily gift. But sure, let's do the 20 treasure jars. I wasn't exactly planning on doing more treasures today after we did a lot last time. But look at that, maybe we'll get Scythe to level 5. Might get some good stuff. 20 draws is a lot. Plus, I still want to see what happens if we get... Not you. If we get the bear jelly... Not the bear jelly watch. If we get the jelly watch? Whatever it was called, the watch. We haven't gotten one yet, which is very unlikely. Did they just remove it from circulation? Because I don't know if I would actually dislike that. Hey, we did get the scythe level 5. Nothing. Got it again. Scythe twice. We did it. Okay, so it just gives you four. That's really not that good. I honestly would have preferred if they just straight up removed it from circulation. Because four, really, four mileage points isn't all that much. But, um... Okay, one thing. We, it is time, Licorice Cookie. I'm getting all of your soul stones here. Yes, I know. 2,200 mileage points. Gone. Um, but we were able to promote them. So we're also going to be doing some cookie draws now, because I didn't know we would end up with 26,000 gold. We're still three away, really? Oh. I thought that was all the ones we needed. Whatever. Upgrade crit. Crit scythe to level 5. Eventually that's going to get to level 12, but that's going to take a long time. But I guess we're going to... Not you. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but... Actually, no, but there's probably some free gifts first. Yeah, that's not that surprising. More free gifts of a number of sorts. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. I'll gladly accept all the gifts you're giving us, but it is a lot of stuff, I'm not gonna lie. 700. I was told to save for the 10, so I'm gonna wait. Um... But that does mean even more draws. One treasure draw. Start off. Yeah, nothing that great. Three cookie draw. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna get to see what we got from there. Got to history, what did we get? Two strawberry cookie soul stones. Okay, whatever. Two more gotchas to go. I'm gonna skip these because we're gonna have ten draws later that we're gonna actually pay attention to. Beat cookie, which is the mileage points. All the common cookies now, almost all of them, they're just giving us mileage points, which I do appreciate. Because they let me walk slowly, 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 slowly towards, you know, who I actually want. Okay, so, you know what? I'm gonna do 30 more of these. I'm gonna spend 9,000 gems. Epic. So this luck's getting pretty good. I had quite a long history of not so great luck with these gotchas. It's been a while now since we've had a 10 draw without an epic cookie. This is pretty great luck. Or who knows, maybe we'll get pure vanilla cookie. No, no pure vanilla, just epic. Maybe we'll finally get mint chocolate then, complete the non special cookies because i'm considering cream buff cookie she should have been an ancient okay she's so hard to get just make her an ancient it would be better anyways epic cookie who's it gonna be please just be mint chocolate we'll get him over with chili pepper again we got that last time too whatever honestly i would have preferred mint chocolate because i want him over with but still ninja cookie if we get a couple more of those we're totally gonna be able to get licorice yeah we'll be able to get licorice too two star because we're just gonna get a lot more mileage points right there we only need 300 which we might have gone just from this draw, to be honest. Well, Ninja Cook, man, so much Ninja Cook. He was my first to max out, but I just got so many of his draws and Soul Stones. Yeah, already at 400. Two more to go. Non-epic, but I think this means a lot of rares. Yeah. So no epics, but I will take the rare cookies. If we pull like one or two custard cookies, I would love that. Custard cookies are closest rare to maxing. Rares at 5 star, once you get them to 5 star, you get way more mileage points. Commons give you a, quite a bit, but rares give you a ridiculous amount. Three epic soul stones. I'll take those. Tiger Lily Cookie, I still sometimes use her, I'll take it. Rare Cookie Pull, who's it gonna be? Pancake Cookie, okay, not bad. On your way to 4 star. More common cookies. Ginger Brave, more mileage points. It's good, this is what happens. This is why no matter what, the draws are always good. If you pull 5 common cookies, that is a good draw as far as I'm concerned, because it just means mileage points whether now or in the future it's worth it onion cookie i had to get her from soul stones and in the recent past i pulled her like three or four times i don't understand 
Milk cookie sauce stones, that I'll gladly take. Strawberry cookie sauce stones, and there we go. Okay, last 10 draw. Just strawberry. I don't know what that means. Rare. So no epic, it's rare. I've never seen just strawberry. Well, I'm sure I have. I'm used to strawberry and wizard. But I think just strawberry means something. I don't know. Maybe it's lots of commons? I don't know. Well, see, the only one I can really confirm is that custard plus um, plover plus ginger wave guarantees you an epic, which is pretty great. Carrot cookie. Okay. You're almost halfway to five star. That's good. Maybe we'll pull you again. No, adventure cookie. And gumballs, cookie soul stones, wizard cookie soul stones, some more mileage points. Ginger brave, aka mileage points. Or gumballs, and wizard cookie. Oh, epic soul stone. Werewolf, I don't really care about that, but okay, I'll still take the epic soul stone. Okay, those draws were a little more lackluster, but anyways, licorice, you need three of your soul stones purchased. I was not planning on starting off the episode this way, but when they give me 10,000 free gems and 20 treasure draws, we're gonna have to do a lot of gotcha stuff, okay? It's just the way it has to be. I can be powerful too, I know I can. I like Licorice Cookie, still one of my favorites. Um, but that's pretty much it. Time to get back into story, if it doesn't crack. I'm still waiting to see the big spoiler for these levels. I know there's gonna be one. I'm waiting for it to come. Herb Cookie, get back in there. I have to switch those two out constantly. But it is time to continue. Were all of those boss enemies? Because I'm pretty sure the pink means it's a boss enemy. And I'm pretty sure all of those enemies were pink. Like, had pink backgrounds. Could be wrong. Probably am wrong. But who knows. Oh, explosive enemies. I really hate these guys when they just explode. I've been dealing with the bounties. Bounties are annoying right now because basically some bounties, in particular the wizard one, which is a little makes sense because wizard characters do triple damage, which is absolutely absurd. Um, but I can beat it at level nine. Yet the um, the tactician, not the tactician dude, the one that gives you one of each. He's like tactician something. Uh, labyrinth tactician. I think it's labyrinth tactician. I can only beat him at level seven. His level eight demolishes me. And I don't know why, like, why can I beat some at level 9, but some I'm still struggling to beat at level 7. As far as I'm concerned, that just means very, very unbalanced. I know they do give buffs to certain cookies and all, but this still feels unbalanced to me. Maybe it's not, but it definitely feels that way. I'm happy, because right now we're actually starting to reach a point where we're taking somewhat decent damage from these enemies. We're actually having to use heals. That hasn't happened in a while. Why am I excited? I don't know. It means it's getting more interesting. It's more interesting that we're not completely overpowered for them. Which we still are, but at least at least our cookies are taking damage now. Maybe they don't like that. I'm sure if given the choice between, hey, do you want to get punched and actually hurt, or do you want to get punched lightly? They'd probably pick get punched lightly. Though, I mean, I guess we're poisoning them anyways. That's why we have hope, I suppose. It's actually a pretty good combo for these guys, since all of these enemies give poison effects. Even though I'm not even sure Purify helps against Poison, because I'm pretty sure Poison is just a DOT and not actually like a status effect. Who knows? Maybe it is, but I don't actually see like a negative thing popping up on the cookies. So I assume it's just part of their attack rather than count as a debuff. Of course, the potion bombs continue. Sleeping Sage's Bridge. Sleeping Sage's Bridge? What on a bridge? I thought we were in a hallway. Here's what we've managed to learn so far. Both White Lily Cookie and Pure Vanilla Cookie were the brightest students of their time at school. Except, it seems the teachers hated them. They secretly conducted research on high energy magic no one else could understand. That's what brought them close. Ha! Huh. Pure Vanilla Cookie wasn't much of a saint either, eh? That's what seeking the truth entails. One must embrace danger in order to reach the goal. Let's keep searching for White Lily Cookie's memories. Yeah, I know that's what we're doing. I guess that helps to clarify. He's following us. Hmm. That looked weird because Dark Shocker quickly ran away and then he just ran behind them because he's on my team as well. I wonder if he's the boss for this stage. Also, thank you. Someone did tell me that the language they are speaking, it's not gibberish, it's Korean. So, thanks for that. I kind of thought it was. But I didn't want to say that because it's very hard to hear. Like, it's very unclear, so I didn't want to make a mistake. That wouldn't be good. Didn't want to assume. Thanks for letting me know because 
it feels weird calling it gibberish because it's clearly something. It didn't sound like gibberish quite, but I don't know. I'm sure it's not the purest quality through, you know, the character's voice acting. They don't talk very much, and when they do talk, it's usually like a battle cry type thing, so, you know. I don't know, I still find it a little surprising that they would keep it in Korean and not have an English voice actor as well. Since, once again, most of the people that play this game, I believe, are English speaking. But I mean, I don't know, they can do whatever they want, I suppose. People, it's not like people will be like, I would have played it if it had English voice acting, but since it doesn't, I won't. That's not happening, so I guess they don't really care that much. Which, I guess is fair. There's no real difference, it doesn't really matter. Though, I don't know, I feel like it would be cool to hear. No, I don't know. Then again, I guess that gives much better opportunities for me to make up voices for all of them when they don't actually have voices in English. Makes it better for me. But anyways, seems we're talking to White Lily Cookie again. Maybe she is another memory. Is there another memory? White Lily Cookie, you have something to say. Ooh, there's something mystery cookie cutter as well. I love those. She looks even thinner than before. She does actually look a little weird there. You don't smile anymore when you look at me. Is it because of my failed experiments? She had failed experiments? We're worried about you. It might take some more time before I find a way to create the perfect cookie. But don't look at me that way, the way Pure Vanilla Cookie did. We'll be back soon, White Lily Cookie. Okay. Wait, the cookie cutter. I want to talk it. Look at it. I got the cookie cutter from the laboratory. Somehow, I feel a deep connection with this item. Do you think it summoned him? Made of solid metal. It's hard to believe that something so cold and cruel might be related to the mystery of the cookie's gen genesis. Genesis. Okay, that's not a very good thing. I thought that it was love and warmth that brought the cookies into the world. The Academy never intended to teach us the truth. No, they used cookie cutters. Pure vanilla cookie. It's within our power to shed light on the mystery of our birth. Yeah, they just use cookie cutters. To be fair, though, I'm sure these cookie cutters do have some sort of magical properties. After all, they are used by a witch, and the witch will only do it if you pay her gem, so, you know. I agree. Let's keep reading the recipe book and carry on with our experiments. Gymnasium entrance. Ooh, chess pieces. Excited for that. Let's keep going. I just love how, like, in between battles, it's like... There's like, nothing's wrong. It's a very peaceful, wonderful, joyful world outside. D don't mind the giant flaming monsters attacking us at every single turn, because apparently, no matter what we do, they just want to keep killing us. Yeah, it's not very nice, but what can you do? Okay, magical portals. I'm a little bored of you now. I know I was saying I was bored of the books, but now there's just these flame enemies in the portals. This is probably what happened in other episodes, but or in other stages or whatever, chapters, I don't know what they're called. I think they're called episodes. But, I don't know. These enemies from 7 and 8, they feel much more boring to me. I don't really know why. Also, was that dude speeding up time? That felt really fast. Maybe that's just a weird, like, I don't know, visual, visual something. Trick of the mind. Maybe my mind's tricking me, but that definitely looked weird. Anyways, on to the next stage. Dum bum bum. Hey, we're fighting a chess piece. Blueberry cream knight and blueberry cream pawn. So we're fighting chess pieces now. Honestly, I feel like chess pieces would be way more interesting than random magical portals and torch bomb, I don't know, flask things. I'd much rather fight pawns. But I was just talking about how the labyrinth tactician is super powerful. Ooh, I wonder if he's part of this kingdom. I mean, these are chess pieces. They do look fairly similar to him. Similar color scheme. Hmm. Maybe this is where the labyrinth tactician is from. They do, after all, say in the paraphilia, like, light the torches or whatever, that the different chess pieces are really... Or that the different bounties are just, like, bad guys, basically. That, you know, every day or two, they, um, uh, they escape, no matter what you do. You have to hunt them down three times every day. And then, um, uh, mis mysteriously, magically, the next day, they're gone again, because, I don't know, I'm sure they're just bribing someone. They clearly have much, much gold. I don't know if that's true. They don't give you that much gold. They have their skill powders, which are used for things that I guess, I mean, yeah, if you had, like, a bag of dust that was like, hey, 
If you help me, I'll give you this, and it'll make you super powerful. Then again, we get it from killing them, too. Or beating them, or defeating them, or locking them up, or whatever. Maybe it's just our payment. Maybe it's not actually part of something they give us or we get from them. Maybe it's just like, hey, you did a good job to the kingdom today. Here's your reward. That would make sense. That might make a bit more sense than imagine we having random skill powders. But who knows? I mean, we are just feeding them, like, blobs of jelly that we make in our cookie houses, so we probably shouldn't think about it too much. Okay, chess pieces. This is why this... I can already tell this, these enemies are going to get annoying. And I know this because, well, the labyrinth tactician is annoying because all his chess pieces stun me and distract me and have ridiculous amounts of health and still do decent damage. I'm sorry, this is the worst part. They just have so much health. They don't even do that much damage, but over time they're slowly damaging your cookies a little more than you can heal. And they have so much health that eventually they just kill you. No matter what you do, and it really, really, really sucks. Whatever. I suppose there's not all that much we can do about it. Mm, I'm still excited. I w can't, honestly, I can't wait to see the cliffhanger of episode 8 and then get started on the actual new chapter 9 and 10. It's gonna be exciting. Though, honestly, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat chapter 10. Chapter 9, hopefully, and probably, but chapter 10, maybe not. But seriously, that stage took forever. Why are these stages taking so much longer now? I don't like it. Anyways, we got our gems, we can keep on going. I really wish you actually got, like, any XP for beating a stage. You get, like, 100. That's less than 10 level 1 XP jellies. You really think I can't get that on my own? Uh, what are you gonna do? Also, I'm, I guess I'm glad we got the 10,000 gems today, because I actually spent 2,000 more gems upgrading storage. It's because I got my stuff stuck, okay? I did it by accident, because I trapped myself with too many resources, but if I sold them, I would have lost money, and... Was it worth it? Nah, probably not. But I mean, they gave us 10,000 more gems now, and even after spending 9,000 on cookie cutters, I'm still at like 16,000 gems, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Hey, another coin section. If only these coin sections actually gave you more money later on in the game. They give you a little bit more, but like, that's less than 1,000 coins. That's pitiful cash. You can get way more than that from baking a donut. Uh, I don't know. I honestly do think, at first I was like, no, everything, some definitely have more markups, they're better. But I think everything you make sells for better value. I don't think that's true anymore. I'm pretty sure most of, like, the flower type things, they're just rip-offs. Because they require other ingredients to sell for, like, the same price. The use of magic requires a highly trained mind. Let us see which of us will win in a game of intellect. I wouldn't consider this a game of intellect, but I guess call it whatever you wish. Blueberry Cream King... You're dead. Do you like split into two people? I don't know. Blueberry cream. Is that a real food, blueberry cream? Or is that like... It makes me think of like blueberry icing. I don't think that's a thing. Well, I mean, blueberry icing probably is a thing. You could just like squash blueberries with icing in a bowl or something. I don't know. I do love, by the way, how we're not actually crashing to these rewards. That happened so much last time and it was so ridiculously annoying. So, to celebrate that, we're going all the way to 19. And the next time, we we'll should be able to do the last 11 stages. Maybe. Maybe he's being a pretty important ward there, but I think we can do it. We do have 265 stamina jelly, so I mean... I don't know. It's not like we're gonna run out of stamina jelly anytime soon. We would have otherwise. Oh, the laser beam lightning chest pieces. I want I think they're rooks. No, not rooks. Um... Bishops? Bishops? No. Maybe bishops. They kind of look like bishops. I know I can check the description at the beginning of the level, but I didn't, and I'm not going to care enough to do that. That's definitely the knight, the weird, like, horse-like character. With the giant eyeball. He's the only one with an eye, I think, here. Hmm, what are you going to do? But honestly, I don't know. This... If I feel... Honestly, I feel like if I was here before episode 9 and 10 were released... I would find this very underwhelming, because even knowing that episode 9 and 10 are here, chapter 7 and 8, I'm not gonna lie, have been very, very dull and boring. I don't know, chapter 1 was cool because it was the start, but it was short. Chapter 2, we had the full dragon thing, chapter 3 was pretty cool, 4, we were looking at, like, we were learning about, all about the Cube of Kingdom, 5 was epic because we started to learn about Pomegranate Cookie, 6, we were starting to follow her still, 7, there was the cool, like, tree, enchanted tree thing. And now number eight, I don't know, number eight's just, oh no, not number seven. Seven was okay, seven had the school bit, but at least there was some interesting stuff with the ice cream. 
Eight is so dull. Like, honestly, it just feels derived of interest right now. Yeah, honestly, I think I have to write six was by far my favorite chapter so far. I love the whole tree thing with the branches. It was so cool. I think it made it a lot more fun. Um, five was also really cool. Two I really liked. Um, I liked seven a decent amount. One was pretty good because it was the start with the crown and stuff. That was annoying. That I, mean, I don't even think we ever actually got the crown back from the hay count, but who knows? Maybe you do. Um, maybe that's something you do in like chapter nine or ten. Who knows? But man, chapter eight—it's just the only thing that's happening is like, yes, we're learning about. I don't know. Maybe I just find pure vanilla cookie and white lily cookie very dull. They don't exactly have the same enthusiasm that a lot of cookies have or sheer like strictness and them like kind of like espresso and pomegranate they have the how dare you waste my time with another second of this insignificant stupidity that's what i picture them talking like they just seem so condescending looking down at everything people do they're like hmm such a waste of human oh no better better insult for cookies such a waste of flour. I don't know, that seems like something they would do. And it gives them this epic, like, creepy, villainous appeal. I know, I know Espresso Cookie isn't even an enemy, but I mean, she just feels very similar. He, he feels very similar to a pomegranate cookie. Why do I keep this? The thing is, I know it's not just Espresso Cookie that I messed that up with, but I feel like it's more so Espresso than anything else. To be fair, I guess in that context, I was probably just mixed him up with around it but still <sighs> I'll learn my lesson eventually I'll figure it out eventually and stop saying the wrong gender one of these days I promise I will I will remember to do that properly eventually one of these days um hmm one thing I do want to say just a quick reminder we're getting very very close to 500 oh not 500 600 subscribers we will fall away and I don't know, I would love if we could make it easily past that today. I think that's doable to make it 600 today. Who knows, but I would love that. Just a quick reminder, because the channel anniversary is coming up on April 25th. We have like 12 days to go. I would love if we could make it to 610 or 615 by then. Though that might be a little hard to do. Lab Detectician is the boss here? So the bounty is a boss here. Well, the bounty's a boss in every chapter. Was every other bounty already a boss? I think they might have been. Were the bounty saw bosses already? If so, that's a little... That makes me feel a little bit worse about the bounties. I thought they were so cool. It was like, oh yeah, they have all these... They added these bosses in. They're new bosses, separate from the game, separate from the main story. Except apparently they're not. And he uses the same... See, honestly, that's my appeal. That's, I think that's what's wrong with this chapter. This is literally the exact same arena as the bounty. This is the exact same setup. They stole the bounty and turned it into a level. I don't really like that. But this is my problem with Chapter 8. It feels like they're just reusing a lot of old stuff. They're reusing old enemies, whether it be originally the enemies from Chapter 7 and now the knight pieces, like now the chess pieces. They're reusing the Labyrinth Tactician as the boss. They're reusing the backgrounds. It's just, it feels very recycled and I don't really like it. Know your enemy. Ah, the intruders everyone is talking about. You don't look like much. Well, I guess this confirms all the theories I was spouting off about, like, two minutes ago. We're stronger than we look. Yeah, we've already beaten you up, like, eight times. Ha 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 ha. Then let us test your tactical prowess. See, this is gonna feel good, because he's normally super OP, and now he's just gonna be weak and die. Die, my precious- not my precious. Die, my slave. Lapping tactician, just- goodbye. In case you didn't know what you couldn't have, I waved. I waved goodbye to him then. Oh, this happens in the same fight too. It's always these dudes. They just stay alive. And I don't like it. Die already. Oh, am I getting a little bit impatient with this? Yeah, but I don't know. Episode 8 is just feels way more boring. I'm having to, well, not intentionally, but spicing this up with like 20, spending 10,000 gems each episode. I can't keep doing that. I'm going to run out of gems eventually. Probably not. They keep sending you so many gems. I bet you if you didn't spend any of the gems they've given you since the first update, you'd be at easily like even if you didn't play the game whatsoever, you'd be at like a million gems, not even. You'd probably be at like three hundred thousand. Treasure chest. What's it gonna be? 
500 gems, 3 of each rarity. I would gladly appreciate that. Gems from here, because you know, there's gems everywhere, and blah, blah. Um, yeah. So, one thing quickly. I'm here for a reason. I'm upgrading this landmark. After I upgrade this one, this is the last one I'm upgrading, and then to level 9. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and actually do things. Actually try to progress to the next cookie castle level. But we apparently have some more event stuff, so let's look at it quickly. Please don't. Yeah, I sort of figured we have a lot more of these to do. And then we also have two more world adventures. Because, you know, more free gems. Why would they stop giving us free gems? That would be dumb. That would be mean. Well, another gotcha. We have one ten draw. Let's do it. Uh, strawberry cookie. Once again, I have no idea what that means. Epic. We pulled an epic. Or we pulled pure vanilla cookie. Perhaps. The thing is, there's not even higher odds of getting here. We pulled an epic, so I'm happy. But is there going to be stars? Nah, no stars. I want the stars. I want pure vanilla cookie. Maybe I'll finally hit Min Chakra. I know I've said this the past, like, 12 epics I've gotten, but I still want him. I still don't have him. I still want to just have him over with. Let's see. Kumaro cookie. I've never actually pulled from a draw. This looks pretty cool. Kumaro cookie. Well, I mean, no, I don't really care about you that much, but maybe we'll get another epic cookie. No, we won't. We might, but no, we won't. Anything good? Ooh! Oh, epic cookie. Ooh, liquor soul stones, though. That's the equivalent of 200 mileage points. I'll take it. Common cookie bowl. Beat cookie, 120 mileage points. Common cookies. The only one left we have is um, angel cookies. Hey, three for latte. That's not bad. Getting a latte to one star. Well, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and join the Puff Elephant Squad. If you're new and you enjoyed, or, you know, maybe convince a friend or two to join as well, I would really appreciate it. I don't know. This is, I feel good, because our views and watch time and all that stuff's going up, but the subscribers are still going up fairly slow. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little impatient. I definitely might be. Um, I definitely am a little impatient with some things. But anyways, have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!